Multi-streaming is the act of simultaneously broadcasting yourself on different platforms and sometimes in different formats. There are many, many ways of achieving that. And today we're going to check out a simple, but not too simple way of making it happen. So assuming you're using OBS Studio to live stream, you will need two different plugins from Adam to make that work. You can see the plugins are right here. It's Adam Vertical, which will create a vertical canvas on top of your normal canvas on OBS. And then Adam Multi-Stream, which will allow you to create multi multiple instances of your stream, managing your different canvases and linking them to the platforms that you want to stream on. Now, I already have a video on Adam Vertical, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But one thing I can say for sure is that this is one of the best ways, if not the best way, to manage a vertical setup in OBS Studio. When it comes to creating scenes, sources, and then linking your scenes to your original scenes, the experience is really seamless. I actually use it for every single stream that I do because I actually clip in vertical. Because yes, it allows you to record and also do a replay buffer from that vertical screen. So even if you don't multi-stream, I highly recommend this plugin because that clipping feature means that you can have TikTok or YouTube Shorts ready clips at the tip of your finger. I know I'm gonna get comments about the stream suite. I am preserving that for a different video. Today, we're keeping it simple, simply adding our two plugins to OBS Studio and then getting to multi-stream immediately. The second plugin is Adam Multi-Stream, which as you can see, you can also download from the OBS website directly. But of course, you can also get it from the Adam website right there. All right, so once you have those downloaded and installed, you want to restart your OBS. And the first thing you would want to do is probably set up your vertical screen. And you would want to do that by going to Docs. And that's where you will see vertical scenes, vertical sources, vertical scene transitions, if you would like to have custom ones and just vertical, which is your vertical preview. Personally, I try not to overcomplicate it. I just copy the scenes as sources and just position them in a way that makes sense. Adam Multistream will also appear on your Docs tab. So you click on Docs, go to Adam Multistream, and then you will see main canvas and something called built-in stream. That means that whatever settings you have currently, that's what you're gonna be streaming with. So normal Twitch stream, whatever you have OBS connected to, that's gonna be your stream, all good. You have a main canvas tab and a vertical canvas tab. So if you would like to stream your main canvas to YouTube, for example, you can go in there and then click add output and then select the platform that you want to stream extra on by using your main landscape canvas. There's Twitch, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Trovo, Twitter, Kick, and other services. Let's look on YouTube, for example. You can put an output name, which is pretty important. You can pick which server you want to stream on and then you can import your stream key. Now, if you're wondering where do you find your stream key on YouTube, you actually have to go and click on create, click go live, and this will bring you to the live manager. If you're logging in for the first time, it might ask you if you plan on streaming from your phone or from a streaming software. Of course, in this case, you click streaming software. And there you go. From your stream tab, you're going to have what is called your default live stream settings. We have a little guide here. So this is the live control room. You can check your stream key. This is what we're going to input later. This is where you edit your stream metadata or just the title, the category and things like that. And it'll tell you to start sending the video feed before you can actually go live. So from here, very simple, you click copy right next to your stream key. You go back to the Adam multi-stream doc and you put your YouTube stream key where it says YouTube stream key. <laughs> That's it. And then you create that output. Now things get slightly complicated when you try to go vertical at the same time. So we want to do Twitch, YouTube and YouTube vertical. So of course, in Adam multi-streaming, you want to go back to your settings, go to vertical canvas and add a new output. So same thing as before, output name, you definitely want to put the word vertical in there so you can know which one it is. What you need to do is actually go to manage and create a new schedule stream. Okay, put all the details, blah, blah, blah. And once you create it, still on the dashboard, you will want to create a new stream key. That way you will generate a different stream key and you can stream on that. All right, then click OK. And once you have your outputs on the Adam multi-stream dock, you have to click on the little icon that says stream to actually start the stream and send information to YouTube. Then again, from your dashboard, after a couple seconds, it'll tell you, hey, looks like you're ready to go live and then click go live. Same thing for when you're ending the stream, you have to click from the YouTube dashboard that you're ending the stream. <laughs> Otherwise your stream will never end. I had to learn that the hard way. Yeah, that's pretty much the simplest way for you to go live on multiple platforms at once. All you need is two plugins and a stream key. 
and then you're good. Now, of course, you have all the questions like, oh, how do I handle chat? How do I display chat? How do I handle alerts and all that? That's for another video. We'll see how this video does. First of all, see if there's any interest in multi-streaming at all. And then I'll go over all the different ways and everything. I would say that Adam multi-stream is the simplest and easiest to install, the, the most accessible way of starting a multi-stream. But because of YouTube's kind of weird system of live streaming, it can get frustrating if you're doing it for the first time and you don't understand how the YouTube system works. I've been through this. <laughs> so I feel like if I were Adam, if I were in their team, I would probably put more information when people select YouTube. I would probably put like a little block of text to explain, here's where you need to go to, to find this. Oh, remember to end the stream on the dashboard and things like that. I'm gonna I'm say it, I'm gonna say it. YouTube sucks when it comes to live streaming. It's not intuitive. It is not uh, practical. It's kind of awful, <laughs> but I think it's in the best interest of Adam to kind of educate people, to, to let them know how it works directly from their plugin. It's not their responsibility, but it would be awesome if they had uh, more instructions, right? Because I imagine if someone never streamed on YouTube before and they've been always on Twitch and then they just download Adam multi-stream, they go to put their YouTube a stream key and then they try to put the vertical one and they start having all those issues they might get frustrated and they might even think that you know adam multi-stream is the problem when it's not it's it's youtube that sucks <laughs> anyways if you want to see more videos about multi-streaming let me know in the comment section below make sure you like the video so i can know that you like it i will be taking a look at the adam uh suite and i will also be taking a look at everything that nutty has done for multi-streaming including the chat and the the, the management and all the systems and the the, the alert everything, but only if this video does well. <laughs> if not, that means you guys are not interested, then that's fine, we'll move on to something else. Thanks for watching.